Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, I'm from Monterey, Mexico and this is my collaboration for the EF guest blog. Let's do this. Today we're gonna talk about how awesome it is to travel alone. Why? Because it's awesome. If you ever feel like learning a language, you can. If you really wanna learn a language, I truly believe that you have to go to the country and fully depend on like only using that language. And why do I think you should travel alone? Because if you go alone, you're only gonna hang out with locals or you're gonna hang out with people that might be other international students but they don't speak your own language. And I think that's gonna help you a lot. So it's something I really like to do. It's something I love to do, to travel alone. Because at the same time, you go at your own pace. Like if you wanna go somewhere, you can do it. If you wanna eat in this place, you can do it. It's not bad, it's not wrong. And a lot of people think that traveling alone is wrong or that it's, uh, I don't know, a lot of people feel scared. In my opinion, I don't feel that way. I feel like traveling alone is one of the best things you can do. Also, if you go alone, you're gonna be forced to be more open. So you're gonna meet more people. I have a lot of friends that I've met because I've been traveling alone and I wouldn't have been able to meet, like, you know, to hang out with them or meet them if, if I would have been with someone else. So I don't know, I feel like traveling alone is really good. And if you really wanna learn a language, I feel like traveling alone, it's, it's amazing. I think that it's the best thing you can do. And now I'm gonna tell you a cool story about why you should travel alone. I went to Denmark alone. I didn't know anybody that would speak you know, Spanish with me. So I started to hang out with all these international kids. And I met this guy from Japan and this girl from Australia. That's right, next year we were all celebrating New Year's in Japan. Next year we we're all celebrating New Year's in Australia. And this year, they're right here with me. They, don't know, they didn't know they were gonna appear in the video. You guys are gonna appear in the video. Come over, come over here. <laughs> so yeah, these are my friends. I met you guys because we, we were traveling alone, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. And now I think we're like good friends. I will feel, I feel that way. I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's awesome. This is my friend Takumi from Japan. This is my friend Alana from Australia. Hello. Takumi, how many languages do you know? What do you know? English and Japanese. All right. And Alana, how many do you know? Two. I speak German and English. All right. Hagen das. That's <laughs> <impressive. German. laughs> But yeah, these are my friends. I believe traveling alone, it's a real cool thing to do. Have you done it? Have you guys done it, Takumi? All the time. All the time. How about you, Elena? A lot of times, yeah. Where? To where? Uh, when I was 19, I went to Europe by myself for six months. And then when I was 21, I went to Denmark for a year by myself. Yeah, and how was that? It was awesome. Met you guys. Yeah. How about you, Takumi? Yeah, um, I've been to states by myself. Uh, I've been to San Francisco, Denver, uh, LA, um, New York, Boston. Have, have you had any trouble because you were alone? No, not really. I think it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And the, I mean, you get to meet people, right? Definitely. Yeah, you have, like you said, you have to meet people. So yeah, it's awesome. I guess today's advice, people at EF, is travel alone. It's pretty cool. You're gonna end up with a bunch of friends from everywhere. Do it. Do it.